This plane is in the middle of the woods and somehow I found it. Yup, that's me on it. I've seen it online and somehow there's this old man that lives in there by himself. He's all alone. I know, creepy. So I drove 10 hours here to ask him three questions. How does he actually live in there? And two, how the hell did he get it in here? And the third question is, I'm going to tell you later because if I told you right now, you're going to think I'm really weird. Go knock on his door. I, is this how it works? I don't know. Please don't kill me. And since I'm not sure if this old man likes having visitors or not, I decided to bring three different gifts with me. Here's his gift bag. Brought him a few gifts. Hello? Hi? Uh, Bruce? That's his name. I searched it up. After shouting his name for a few minutes, no one was answering, so I decided it was time to go knock on his door now. I'm ready to knock and hand him his gifts. <sighs> Hi? Hello? Is anybody here? Hey, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. No. I brought some gifts for you. <laughs> yeah. Be right back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. I did it. My gift idea had actually worked. So while I waited for him to get ready, I went exploring outside of the plane. So there's a tree here and there's a tree there. How did it get here? That's what I'm here to ask him. It's so tall. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so cool. Keep in mind, this guy's an actual stranger, and I'm just over here in the middle of the woods with him. What's your name? Nassim. Nassim. That's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bruce. Oh, you're cold. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. These are the cabin and flight deck only. Let me give you a tour. How would you like to be master of the cabin? <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> okay, now remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay. <laughs> Come this way. It's just this wire. Touch the end of the wire to the metal, but for only one millisecond. One second? One millisecond. Yeah, just, just barely touch it. Off. Wow. As you can clearly see, I'm really impressed, but Bruce is still showing me around. I even got to see his food area. As you can see, he has a lot of canned food and even a microwave on this plane. And on top of that, I got to see his sleeping area. Freshly showered, naked bodies only. <laughs> Driving 10 hours here was really worth it. I, I like this a lot. He's really, really nice, like actually nice. And I brought him really cool gifts that I'm gonna give him later. So stay tuned for that one. I think he's gonna like them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I think I'm having a little too much fun. I'm gonna show you where Bruce showers. Oh, the plane just turned off, but I know exactly how to turn it on. Thanks, Bruce. It's not turning on. Yeah, I'm gonna stop messing with it till Bruce comes. Is that from the cold? The power went out from the cold? Probably have a power outage. Oh, wow. And there's nothing Oh, oh, I think the light came back on. Yeah, yeah, we have power so far. It nice. Back off. Oh. <laughs> Bruce is nice and all, but if he was able to hide a plane in this forest, what else could he be hiding? So I decided to ask him by doing an interview. So w when did you first move the plane in here? Um, in 2000. When I got here, I was thinking how, you know, the, the plane got in here because the wing is between two trees, you know? Yeah, it's, it looks really tight, doesn't so, it? The wings are removed. How many years exactly have you been living in here? I'm 23. I, I spend about half my time in Japan. The reason I came here... Was As you remember, there's three questions that I wanted to ask Bruce. So to make sure he says yes to my weird question, I decided it was now time to give him two of the three gifts that I have. Uh, I, I, I thought before, you know, I came here, I thought you might be lonely. So I did get, get you, you know, well. this. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. thank you. You're uh, a pilot, you have a plane. I assumed you like traveling, so I did get you a glow. Wow, okay. <laughs> and now it was finally time to ask Bruce my strange question. Uh, the third reason I came here, I, I wanted to see, like I saw a video of you uh, taking uh, a shower over there, so yep. I wanted to ask you if I could do it. If you could take a shower? Yeah. You it's it's been my goal to, to yeah. do what you did. Okay, well that's unique too. So that'll be a first time that any videographer, any production company, Really? Yeah. <laughs> After Bruce turned out not to be a creepy old man, but rather a really nice guy, I wanted to explore the outside some more before my shower. Now that I've spoke to him, he's really nice, which means I can have as much fun as I want. Let's get on the wing, bro. 
How is this real? This is a legit plane that used to fly around. Now look. And just when I thought I was alone with Bruce, a group of people came by. How are you? You guys come see the plane as well? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Iraq. These people just came to visit Bruce, so it's really cool. He's giving them a tour as well. Thank you so much. <sighs> yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Safe travels. It's starting to get dark, so things might start getting really creepy. Because don't get me wrong, although Bruce is nice, at the end of the day, he's a stranger that I just met. He just left. And just as I was about to shower, the water stopped working. <laughs> this time of the year, the plane gets really cold, and if you don't keep the water running, it could freeze up. So me and Bruce spent the night fixing it so I can shower. Uh, so right now, the, the pipe is frozen, or what's going on? Um, the pipe did freeze, and that pushed a junction. Um, hydraulic connectors and plumbing connectors. Hopefully Bruce is able to fix the water. I think I said it already, but it's freezing. Since it was getting really dark, I sat Bruce down for another interview. I gave him my last gift, which was a mug. Oh, R2-D2, cool. <laughs> yeah, like... And then I asked him the strangest question he's probably ever heard. I wanted to see if I could spend the night like over here. Oh, yeah, sure. Welcome to do that. Now. Really? My fingers hurt. It's so cold, but it's going to be even worse tomorrow because I'm taking a shower even though it's freezing, but who cares? I'm still doing it. So, it's been a really, really good experience and I'm really excited to wake up tomorrow. <laughs> so then I got ready for bed. I brushed my teeth, picked out a pillow and got help from Bruce setting up my bed. Yeah. Okay, you're going to sleep. Yeah. I would tell you the cold was so bad that I had to sleep with a heater onto my face. But the water freezing should already tell you enough. It was honestly the coldest day of my life. It's 7 a.m. It's so cold and I woke up to put some extra socks and gloves on. It's almost 11 a.m. I woke up, got ready, and went to Bruce to get help setting up the shower. So, let's see, swing over here. It's a releasable tie wrap. Okay. What else have you seen? I've seen a giant potato in Idaho. They turned it to a room as well. Wow. I don't know why, but for some reason, I felt really happy showering in the plane. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I prefer this way more than the potato. Done with the shower. Thank you so much for being so nice, Bruce. Yeah, my pleasure. I really appreciate you letting me stay here and use a shower. So nice of you. It's my pleasure. You're always welcome. All right, bye-bye now, Bruce. Well, this is it for the plane journey. As I mentioned to Bruce, I did stay in a potato hotel, which you could go watch that right now. Uh, just click on it. The party never